word on the street is you got a pick six today. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a pick six, but I got a few good blocks and ran down the sideline. But Deion Jackson, you know, that's a fast guy, so he might have caught me on that one. I ain't going to lie. No, are you playing safe your corner? I'm playing corner this year. Okay. Uh, I think mostly because of matchup, matchups. And like last year in Brandon Feimster, we had a big boundary corner, which helped us a lot. But I feel like first game, better matchup with like Mike Carter and the slot they got. Yeah. And me and bigger receivers in the boundary. Yeah. What are the challenges of switching a position like that? Um, corner, you don't have as much help over the top. And uh, at strike or nickel, um, you got like the safety's gonna help first on the nickel. So yeah, that's the biggest difference. How's the? I know it's just day one, but how's the competition as far as uh, the defensive side of the ball? Because you guys have a number of different players, the DB, linebacker, even up front. Um, what's the competition kind of been like? Uh, like I said, I mean, we got like, so we got a lot of people that can play different positions. So like everybody can play corner safety. So, um, but at corner, my, like beside me, me and Josh, we both play field and boundary. Uh, we got some young guys, Jalen, Jalen, he can play nickel outside uh, at the corner. It's just a lot of competition around with young guys and some vets we got. You're going to be doing kickoff return too? With uh, no, I'm an off returner. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if it comes to me, you know, I, I catch it and get what I can. But lead blocker. Yeah, Deion Jackson's our primary. Yeah. Coach Cut has said that he expects this defense to be one of the best that they've had here at Duke. He said that a couple times. What are your early impressions of the defense? Um, our D line, like they got after it today. Like we got vets at the end, been playing since freshman Drew Jordan, uh, Victor, uh, Derek Tangelo. We got. Uh, Trayvon McSwain, great leader. Um, EA is coming back. Hopefully, he had an injury last year. Come back healthy. I mean, we're going to be deep at D line, and those guys can really play. Leonard, you had a, a big interception against Baylor last year, but in general, Duke didn't do a very good job of forcing turnovers last year. What has to change to turn that around? Um, we got depth this year. We had a lot of injuries last year with uh, Mark, Mike Carter hurt his, her got hurt in Baylor. Uh, he only played like some games, second half of games. Um, just depth, being like, got more conditioning. We've been doing a lot more conditioning to get in shape. And I feel like we're in better shape. We're going to get more picks and pressure. Our D-line this year, we're really going to get after it. I could tell by the day. What is it like to be just out here after some of the conditioning and, and whatnot during the summer to finally have practice in a way? I know you're not wearing pads, but yeah. it's practice nonetheless. How's it feel? Uh, I mean, it feels good to be out here. I mean, we've been working all summer, like, running, weightlifting, uh, it's really got us in the best shape we can be. And uh, to come out here and just play loose, play fast, 